supposed to have some games. Alright, finally, the Calais is back in the ground. 403 is in, all buttoned up and ready to fire up. It's looking real sharp in there, and the car is looking good that it's back on the ground. So pretty much all I have to do now is put the battery in it, fill up the uh, float bowl with a little bit of gas so it fires up right away. Or at least I hope it will fire up right away. And we'll see how good this 403 runs in here. Finally, time to turn the key. What I'm doing here is filling up the actual float bowl. This is the vent for the float bowl, at least on a quadrajet it is. And since this is the first time starting this motor in this car, this, this engine hasn't run in a long time. And this is the, I rebuilt this carburetor, so there's zero gas in this thing. And I want this motor to fire up right away. So what I'm doing is just filling up the float bowl with a little bit of gas just so it starts up right away. I don't want this thing cranking too long. As you guys remember, or at least the ones who have been watching my videos, this motor filled up with water. I had it sitting outside, the tarp blew off of it, and it filled with, with uh, rain water. So I want this thing firing up right away. I got all the water out of it if you guys check out check out those videos on my channel well here it goes the battery's hooked up and this is the very first time firing this up this uh, 403 up let's see if it happens Camera fell. Oops. It runs. It runs smooth. Damn, this is the first time starting this thing, and it runs off and smooth. Sounds like a little bit of a lift or tick. That should go away. Well, this thing fired up like uh, like it's been sitting in here for years. So far, no leaks. That's a good thing. I know I gotta fill up the transmission fluid a little bit. That lifter tick should go away. I think it was uh, the lifters collapsed just from from all the water and the cranking it. It already sounds like it's getting quieter. Wow, this thing runs. Pretty good. It sounds like the carb. I know the motor's cold. The carb might need a little idle adjustment as far as the uh, idle mixture screws, which are located at the base of the carburetor. Yeah, the lifter's already quieted down. Not bad for a first time start and rebuild carburetor and all that good stuff. The 403 is running, running in the 79 Calais. Pulled this car out of storage this spring with the 260. And it's going to go back in storage with the 403 and a turbo 350 tranny. Make sure it has uh, oil pressure. See if the gauges are working. Oh yeah. It's got about 50 pounds of pressure. It's charging. It's quiet. It's running pretty good. Sounds nice, nice and smooth. Boy, this thing's running like it's been in here since day one. I cannot believe this. I didn't have to break the cam in on this one because uh, if you guys check out my channel, this is the 403 that came out of my 78 parts car, the white one. 
sitting right there. Oops, you might have seen another car that's coming up on Classic G body. <coughs> oh, I got a cold, guys. Been feeling a little under the weather. <coughs> well, it sounds pretty good. I hope it's running on all eight. It's not sounding so healthy right now. That's yeah, okay. Smoky. Probably some oil burning off the exhaust and all that good stuff. Well, that's it. 403 is running. Sounded pretty good. A little bit smoky. Probably just burning off a little bit of oil. I got a brand new jug of oil. I'm going to change this oil right away before I uh, take it up and down the street, really, for the first time, just because since this motor had some water in it. I put fresh oil in it, I cranked it over, I figured I'd run it for a little bit, let it get hot, and then I'll change the oil just so it has fresh oil in it, make sure there's no contaminants of water, let it heat up, evaporate any other water that's still in there, but that's pretty much it. So what I'll do is uh, change the oil and look for the next video of uh, the first test drive up and down the street with this 403 with the 342 pond. Okay.